What's going on, everybody? This is allhiphop.com. We are here with the, the crew behind Dope Fiend, a new independent movie that's about to come out. Y'all dropped something on him in Newark, New Jersey at the film festival. Talk about, first of all, the response to the movie and, you know, how people received it. Oh, it was a great response that we had this weekend. We, uh, it was, it was something that we weren't expecting. We were expecting a, a good turnout, but this was beyond a turnout. We had two theaters going at the same time. Over two two hundred people showed up beyond the capacity of the theater. We had to turn people away, um, and we wound up winning best feature for the film for the uh, festival, um, which is something that we weren't expecting. And even the feedback afterwards was was incredible um, for the film. Um, my name is Ron Elliott. I'm the writer director of the film. This is Sean Lindsay, a turtle, who is the EP and who the film is based on. And this is Marquise Jackson. He is uh, one plays one of the characters in the film, Little Bam. Okay. Uh, so talk about the film a little bit. It's got a premise that's interesting to me, including gentrification. Um, can y'all talk about that a little bit? Well, it puts on display how drugs affect the community as a whole, mm -hmm. not just from a drug dealer, drug user mm -hmm. um, point of view. It, it shows how politicians and, 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 and um, home developers play on the activities that go on in, in, in our neighborhoods in which we live, mm -hmm. how gentrification has taken over these, these urban areas that we used to call the hood. It's no longer becoming the hood or no longer the hood anymore, right. you know. Now, how was it seeing yourself, or at least parts of your life, played out? Well, it, it was it was some things that that was that was close. There's a few scenes that's that's very close, but this genius right here, he wrote mm -hmm. the way he wrote it. He took it to a different level. It's no longer about. It's based on the things that I told him that I experienced, mm -hmm. but now it's just on a different level. Yeah. A different level. He did, he he made it like one big pot of gumbo. Well, you have Haitians, Dominicans, Puerto Ricans. You have the black community, the white, the Jewish. Everybody's in it. If you, every, you, everyone's gonna be attached to this, not just the hood. Mm. I saw some a little bit of humor in there. Is that is that what I saw in the trailer? A little bit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you gonna laugh, cry. This guy right here, everybody loved him, but then they didn't like him. Yeah, yeah right. Wow. I got, both, I got both ends of the stick on this. <laughs> yeah. Talk about acting. I mean, I've seen you in a couple of things, but not. I haven't seen you act, act, I don't think. Yeah, I mean, this is my first uh, actual film. So, I mean, it's a great experience. I mean, it's just it's a learning process. You know, you just try your best and see the outcome. And it came out pretty well. So, you know, yeah. pretty pleased with what I, how I performed and stuff. Did you do any, uh, did you take any lessons or did you do I took one so? acting class. Really? One, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they just threw me in a fight. <laughs> like, right, right. You gotta, but he showed up. Yeah, he showed up from facial expressions to getting his lines down, and he was he we he worked quick. Every every time he, it was time for it was we did very few cuts with him. Now me, that was a different story. <laughs> now, <laughs> yeah, he was great. You guys have dope. a lot of guests in this uh, movie. It shocked me how many people I recognized or even knew that are in this movie. Oh, yeah. How did, it, how did that all come together? Well, how it come? Well, that shoebox is empty now. <laughs> 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 but it was, it, for me, it was, it, was, it, it, was, it was interesting, like, to employ over 50 people, you know what I mean, to be paying over 50 people it was different. Mm -hmm. It was different for me, but it, the experience was dope. Like, we have Malik Yoba. We have um, Hashim, what's his name? From, from the Blacklist. From the Blacklist, Hashim. We have um, Duchess from Black Ink. We have um, oh, I, I'm Andre Fuller. Andre Fuller. He plays well. <coughs> Sakina Deer. We flew people in from far and beyond for this film. Wow. She came from Jamaica. Well, it was an experience, man. It was an experience. Tobias, Tobias. He's on Empire. Okay. Now, there's a lot of, you know, at one point there was a hood flick genre, you know what I mean? And now we're in the <coughs> independent era. Where do, where do you see this movie going? This is universal. This is a universal film. This is not a hood movie. 
and you when you see the trailer or the teaser and you see a lot of gunplay because the action is what what gravitates the people or, or make them make it interesting but when you watch it it's deeper than that mm -hmm. it shows compassion between a, a compassion between mother and daughter but how drugs take that take that away from and it's, it's like it's touching if you've been if you had if you had that experience growing up where your parents was on drugs it'll hit home if you had the experience where your grandmother took care of you it's gonna hit home there's so many different elements in this film that mm. everyone gonna love it okay. yeah the film the film the film is uh that's something interesting that I always seem to have a problem with when people say hood films or or you know, slave films and stuff like that. Um, the, the people like to categorize things into whatever it fits them. And this is a story, and it's a story about um, about power, about family, and about how politics and st and 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 our community is directly in affected by it. So it shows the macro and the micro of it. It shows how the family is really affected by drugs and by the choices we make. Not just the drugs, but the, the, our involvement and how we react to these things that happen to us. Mm -hmm. Like his character represents the, the, the youth and how they keep that cycle going mm -hmm. and how he his choices that he makes helps to continue that cycle. Mm -hmm. Whereas the main character, um, Andre, who plays, whose name is Prophet, played by Andre Fuller, his character is in a crossroad where he's trying to help his family, you know, he wants to help his grandmother, who's who raised him, and that story helps. That story, ha he he has a chance right there to make a choice to change the direction of his life, and then so there is multiple stories in this. There's a story of a of a Jamaican woman and how she goes about seeking revenge for the death of her her husband, and we show how revenge plays in the effect of the community and everyone that's involved in it. So the story, and then it goes into the story of gentrification, how these businessmen, and this is actually true, how these businessmen use the laws to their advantage, but to our disadvantage, and how, it, uh, and how drugs are being used as a means to further that and a means to use as, as, as you know, money to help facilitate it. And this is something that actually happens. This is something that, you know, as you guys know, Nixon's aid was just released, and he talked about how they use the laws to help facilitate these things. And so the story is not, it, it, I mean, I had to write it in a way that people could identify and be able to be entertained and educated at the same time. And so I think after our screening at the Newark Film Festival, it really sh came home and it came, it came across. We had great actors like this brother right here. He did a really good job. We had, you know, some seasoned actors and some new actors. And we're hoping to do is, you know, usher in a new face of, of Hollywood, new face of, people in, in our culture because I mean I'm I mean they're great film actors and actors but I'm pretty sure you're tired of seeing the same five people playing the same <laughs> roles so it's time for us to like come in and say you know we got a new new actors new new actresses new producers and and on top of that this film was created by all minority people this is created executive produced directed written you know even our PAs were all black, black and brown people so you know this is something that you know, we're we're trying to really show that we could do quality films, that it can be shown and respected by our community. And you know, I I've, I've been doing this business for over 20 years and if you walk down the streets of New York, you know, as we all know, most of the people that are in these film production, they don't look like nothing like us, but the films and stuff are for us and we can't even get jobs working in none of those things. So, you know, we're taking our position is to create our own stuff, our own people and stories that will help push and elevate and entertain ourselves. So if it mattered to you, make it happen. <laughs> Marquise, do you uh, plan to continue acting? Is this something that you see in your future? Yeah, this is definitely something I want to pursue. And um, I'm just excited to uh, to do something new. And, you know, you get so used to doing something else. And when you venture to something new, it's like a whole nother spark in your life. So yeah. it's like, so yeah, it's really something I plan on pursuing. How was it seeing yourself on the screen? Were you at, I mean, I'm assuming you were Yeah, they, they had asked me, like, do you want to see it prior to uh, the uh, premiere? I said, no, I want to see it with everybody else. I mean, it's not my first time seeing myself on the screen, but mm -hmm. it was exciting because it was a packed theater. There's people standing on the side and stuff, and it's just, you feel so proud because, like, they're here for something that you're a part of. So, mm -hmm. 
and you feel the sense of pride in and you and yeah. it's fun, man. It's a, it's yeah. a great experience. That's dope. That's dope. So, where does this fit in uh, the the overall movie landscape? Is I mean, this is the movie landscape is is crazy right now. Like you have the black experience seems to be just all over the place now. You know, everything from you know, like we talked about period pieces or slave flicks or whatever to uh, you know, even Denzel's playing a cowboy. I mean, it's it's like the whole spectrum. It's it's like we're popular again. You know what I'm saying? But this is a different look because it's obviously it's an independent movie. You know, so do you think the independent landscape is 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 now where we're gonna you know make more impact or? Well, my experience and my my opinion has always been that you know our community is the biggest supporter of our products. The problem is that we don't control the lanes in which to get it to our people, and so I, I always believe that independent filmmaking would, is the best route. And now the technology has made it really accessible for us. I think that really the only thing is stopping us really having the tenacity to go through and finish it and go through the work. And this brother right here, you know, he had the same mindset as I did. It's like, yo, we're going to go for the stars, do the impossible. And so I don't see we have a good story, we have good actors, um, and just putting the hard work in. And I think that our community wants quality work. We want quality stories that represents us. And this film is a New York film, and as, as you people don't know, New York, New York is—it's not just black folks, not just white folks. Not, it's, I mean, New York is a melting pot in the world, and this film has the melting pot of our community, and it shows everything in it. And I think, I think people will get a sense of, you know, what it is, and I think that the the the, the lane there's a lane there for us to to make some history and to make some noise. I mean, Compton came out; they did well. You know, that's a minority. It was an independent film, but it was a minority film about our, about our experience, about our people. And I think that, you know, we could do it. It could, definitely could be done and just support it. What do you guys think about um, movies, uh, not movies, um, but series like uh, Money and Violence? And, you know, there's a bunch of movies. I mean, I keep calling them movies, but series like that. First and foremost, I take my hat off to anybody who have an idea, a dream, and <clears throat> and get up and have the drive to bring it to reality. No matter what you do, just do it. There's no, like, once it become a thought and you bring it to action. So my hat goes off to all them brothers, money and violence, respect life, and uh, is it numerous. I'm not going to name all of them, but, right. you know, but I think, it's, I think it's a good thing to put your vision bring it to a reality and bring it to the world. Do you feel like, um, you know, movies are almost not saying, I mean, there's still obviously an, an entertainment fa factor to it, but these series, not just those type of ones, but other ones too, seem to be like each series, each episode is a movie almost. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You know I saying? agree. I know exactly what you're saying. I was just saying that the other day because I'm a, um, big fan of narcos yeah <laughs> and every time i watch it it's like a whole movie the yeah. entire time like it's hard to i feel like you got to stay in the house for two days and just watch a full season like <laughs> it's crazy. like binge watching is, is real yeah so what's your what's your favorite series is that, is that the one i have to say narcos in the um a new series with uh i think danny glover's son alana Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yo, that that show is yeah. hilarious. <laughs> yeah, that's actually really that's an interesting show because you know you think you've seen all the hip hop experience, but this whole, puts a whole oh, another perspective. Yeah, yeah, usually you you usually it's all about I would the hostility, or, yeah. but it, it gives like a different plot twist Funny, to it. But yeah, yeah, it yeah. brings a type of a sense of humor to it. So it's yeah. something different. I like it. Yeah, that's Donald Glover, by the way. Donnie Glover, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he's um, I, That's actually not um, Danny Glover's son. That's not? Nah. I thought it was. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I didn't know it was Glover. <laughs> yeah, everybody thought that at first. But yeah, he put he put a twist on it, Lynn. I don't know if y'all seen it, but... I haven't seen it. Yeah, yet. check it I out. I haven't. Episode. We haven't had time to watch anything. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> not even our kids, man. We've been... <laughs> putting in this work just to bring this movie to y'all we've been putting in the work so are y'all able to talk about the timetable like how quickly you put it together Can you talk oh about man oh, yeah. well well I, I i made it i made a call to to one of my childhood friends and 
he introduced me to Ron. He sent me to Ron. And Ron and I met in a small cafe, talked about things that happened in my life. And a week later, he called me from Trinidad and like, yo, I got the, I got, yo, I got the script. And I'm like, man, this guy playing game. <laughs> you know, I'm like, yeah, whatever. All right. <laughs> then he sends me the script. After we met up, he, I'm going to have the script for you. He sent me the script. I didn't read it for about a month. I'm <laughs> like, man, this dude, man. But December, that was November. The end of October, we met. November, I had the script. December, we were casting. Well, the end of November, we were casting. And January, in the total of 18 days, we finished a feature film. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah, this process was nine months. Nine months to do this pro this film from beginning to end, mm. which is incredible in itself. To that's to write that's it. Because you you went straight into editing. Like, yeah. Yeah, this dude went straight into yeah, editing. Yeah, it was it was a it was a definitely this this was to me, I think this film has been ordained. You know what I mean? We we have been blessed with a lot of things, you know, just the fact to even have Marquise involved. Like I didn't think he can. I I I'm a I'm a I'm a director. <laughs> so I I there's a lot of people who want to be in this film who have names and who who want to act. And I said no to them. And and Plenty. so he had to go through the same process as everybody else. He had to do a reading. Yeah. He had to you know had submit. To audition, he had to yeah. audition. And um he he I was floored. Actually we had a um rehearsal with him with with a seasoned actor, and I had to direct the seasoned actor. Wow. Like he he was on point. I was like. I, I couldn't see anything I could tell him to do, but he, I had to I had to lean on the other guy, and so I was. And then when we when the cameras came on, it, it was just like it was magical. Yeah. Like everyone was just really really on point. Marquise, can you cry on cue? Uh, I, don't, I don't know yet. <laughs> <laughs> I, might, I might need a few more acting classes for that. One. <laughs> That's always the thing for me. I'll be like, go ahead and cry. Yeah. <laughs> don't be that guy though. Right, right. That's like when you rapper everybody asks you freestyle. You're like, yo, listen, just, just listen to the song. <laughs> no doubt. So what's in, what's up? You know, what's next for the movie? Like I know you know you're at the beginning stages, but I'm sure you have big plans. Every every everyone's talking about part two. Well, <laughs> yeah, right. everyone has seen it. The world didn't see it. So our job now is to bring this to the world and then we working on part two. Okay. So that's that's the plan. Okay. The plan. Now you did you did a little acting too, right? I ain't Denzel or nothing. <laughs> <laughs> but I did I did yeah, I, I did act I did a little acting. Now are y'all like a big family now or is it just like, you know, people go their own separate ways? Oh no, nah, we're we're a family. Yeah. We're a family. Like my job is to is to keep keep doing keep doing this and, and, and our job actually to keep doing this and to make we want to make stars like Tyler Perry made stars out of it, like Spike Lee made stars, like all them other directors and, and filmmakers. We want to do the same thing, so it's a family. Okay, okay. So Marquise, I'd be remiss to ask you, as you already know, mm -hmm. uh, the situation. I, I didn't even notice till somebody told me. Like I guess something happened on Instagram the other day. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. with your pop and everything. Um, yeah. Does that have any bearing on anything with you right now? I mean, of course it's 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 a subject. I mean, that's that's your parent at the end of the day. Of course, mm -hmm. you're always gonna have that love for that person. But a lot of people forget respect is earned, not given. Mm -hmm. Because that's your father, that's your mother, or any any situation. That doesn't automatically give you the right to say certain things or treat somebody a certain way. So. At the end of the day, man, you just try to turn negative into a positive in the best way you can. So yeah. that's a, that's the only thing I can really do. You smiling extra big. So yeah. you, <laughs> I mean, you, have, you seem. I mean, yeah. I brush these teeth every day, so yeah. you know, yeah. <laughs> I'm better yeah. smile. Right, no doubt. That's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah. All right. Okay. Okay. Um, any final words y'all have? Or I'm anxious to see this movie. I gotta say, man, like I'm, oh, yeah, I'm a little mad the at the whole city of Newark <laughs> <laughs> and the film festival. Then a big shout out to Newark, man. Yeah, no, I yeah, love Newark. They, they love embraced, them. they embraced us very well this weekend, man. They embraced us. Come on out, the, they, you guys can check the. I'm sorry, just check the teaser out on YouTube. Dolphine the movie. Um, go to our website, Dolphine the movie. You can see the teaser. You can read up on more things and where we're gonna be and that kind of stuff.
feel like a news reporter holding yeah. the microphone. Maybe, maybe all <laughs> hip hop can uh, 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 help sponsor a screening or something, and maybe we could. Uh, that well, that'd be dope. Yeah, that'd be dope because we have to accommodate a lot of people. They turned, they turned about two hundred people away, and yeah. people were sitting on the floor and standing on the walls in the theaters. And I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't our fault, but apologies is from Dope Fiend or <laughs> Dope Vision. <laughs> yeah, that's dope though. All right. Yeah.